Here, Senator Warren of Massachusetts is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, not content with buying up hospitals and newspapers and single family homes, retail chains, and pretty much everything else under the sun, private equity has now set its sights on a new moneymaker Americans' retirement savings. Over the past decade, private equity has hoovered up companies that sell life insurance and other retirement products. And today, private equity firms control more than 10% of all life and annuity assets in the United States, despite having had almost zero presence just over a decade ago. Now, these new private equity-owned insurers have developed a particular taste for workers' pensions. Under this model, called the Pension Risk Transfer, or PRT transaction, private equity giants like Apollo are buying up pension obligations from big employers like J.C. Penney and Lockheed Martin and Alcoa. At least 300,000 Americans today have pensions that are managed by private equity firms. Mr. Seitz, you run the office inside the Treasury Department that oversees insurance products. So I want to ask you about the safety of these Americans' pensions. So let's say someone retired from a company like J.C. Penney or Alcoa, and their pension was transferred over to Athene, Apollo's insurance arm. Would you say that the retiree's pension is just as financially secure now that it's managed by a private equity owner insurer as it was before? Uh, no, th thank you, Senator, for that question. I mean, we share um, your view on the importance of this issue and recognize the importance of pensions to millions of Americans that are relying upon those for their retirement and a dignified retirement. And we are working closely with the NEIC and their regulatory considerations as they look at their uh, framework and how to best address not only changes in the PE sector, but also, as Commissioner Brain mentioned, more broadly in the life insurance sector with regard to their investment and liquidity. Well, I, I appreciate that you care about these issues, but that's not the question I asked you. I asked you, once there's been a transfer to Apollo's insurance arm, are the people who are covered just as secure as they were before the transfer? That's easy. Yes or no? You know, in the individuals, um, their policies are transferred, as Commissioner Brain mentioned, they're covered by the individual state guarantee funds, and it's an area of focus for our office to make sure that the state system is being, regulatory mechanisms, mechanisms are being designed appropriately to reflect um, these new transactions, and we appreciate... I'm, I'm still not hearing a yes or no. You know, just to make clear, in a September 2021 report, the Federal Insurance Office, which you run, stated that, quote, PE owners may use investment strategies for their owned insurance entities that have heightened credit and liquidity risk profiles as compared to other market participants, end quote, and, quote, tend to hold a more significant proportion of investments in alternative or non-traditional insurance assets that are associated with illiquidity and complexity premiums, end quote. Uh, you still agree with what you said? No. Um, thank you, Senator. We have articulated those same points in our letter to Chairman Brown a few months ago, and it's an issue that we are focused on in our office, and we appreciate the changing investment portfolio of those companies, as well as across the broader life insurance. All right. Sector. In other words, there's more risk. It's an area of increased focus for our office, and we're looking forward to Look, exposing Americans' retirement savings to more risk is exactly how private equity makes its money. Riskier and more complex investments mean that private equity-backed insurers can jack up their returns and their short-term profits. But the pensions are more vulnerable to being wiped out by a market downturn, which endangers the insurance company's insolvency. This is not hard. This is just how the pieces work. For example, one-fifth of Athene's portfolio is invested in risky asset-backed securities and leveraged loans made to companies that are already highly in debt. And even worse, 
Many of Athene's risky investments are created or managed by the parent company, Apollo itself. This means that Apollo collects fees on the investments that it directed its insurance arm to make. So look, I, this is a problem of more risk, and the risk is borne by people who have invested for all their working lives in their retirement security. And I want to underline the word security. My Wall Stop Wall Street Looting Act would strengthen private equity disclosures to empower investors and help regulators crack down on self-dealing. But we also need federal and state insurance regulators to step up and address the risks that private equity poses to pensioners and workers. I appreciate that Treasury and NAIC are looking at this issue closely, but enough studying. It is time to act. And I'm looking forward to working with both of your offices to ensure that happens. Thank you.